Hello, my YouTube loves. This is Miss Kendra 20 again doing another review for you. I'm actually doing a review today, um, really quick. I don't like, I just wanted to do a really quick video on this hair, really, um, for you guys. Um, I saw a couple reviews out there on this hair and it got a lot of mixed reviews, so I did want to do like an honest review for you guys. So, um, the hair that I purchased is the Outre, the Outre Simply. Um, unprocessed Brazilian body wave so it's the bigger wave curl um, and so I got it two bundles of the 20 inch in the natural black which is close to like a 1b and then I got an 18 inch bundle as well so I have three bundles total and I installed about two and a quarter to two and a half bundles so I used most of one of the 20s part of one of the 20s and then I used about half of the 18 inch so I'd probably say it's about two and a quarter to our two and a half bundles. Um, I did want to tell you about the hair. So the first thing that I did is um, I was watching um, another YouTube video and she was saying to use Garnier Futrice. Miss Chandra, who I love so much, Miss Chandra. Miss Chandra is awesome and I love watching her videos because she educates me on so much stuff. So it's so much fun to like just watch her and then watch myself like as I evolve with the hair. So I actually, she um, said she used Garnier Futrice to co-wash the hair. Because I've always used like the sulfate free um, kind of shampoo, but I did want to try the Garnier Fruity since this is a curly hair and it's more Garnier Fruity is known for their frizz control. Um, and usually with like big curls when they're um, they tangle and it's a big old mess. So um, even when I had the Indie Remy hair, um, the soul wave and it was super curly, it was really hard to maintain that hair being as good as it was. So I did co-wash the hair. And the first thing that I noticed when I co-wash the hair is that it stripped a lot of the color out. So I don't think that it is unprocessed. I can't say that it is unprocessed because the hair literally the water was like brownish black. So you can tell they kind of put a dye to it because even after it dried, more of the browns showed, like showed through. So it didn't look like a true 1B. It looked more like um, a brown highlighted. And the curls fell out of the hair. Like the first pack of the 20 inch, most of the curls fell out. So as you can see, like if you look up the hair, um, it's supposed to be these big, like beautiful curls. No, the waves kind of pretty much fell out. So. Um, the second bundle that I co-washed, the curls completely fell out. Like there was nothing. It was just bone straight and I was actually pretty sad. So that's the reason why I didn't use the whole 20 inch. Um, and I used a lot of the 18 because when I co-washed the 18, none of the dye, there was no dye at all in the 18 inch um, water. And most of the curls stayed, but a lot of the curl dropped out of that too. So just be warned if you love those curls and, you're not, um, and you want to keep them, don't co-wash it first because... You're gonna lose the curl. So I'm actually kind of sad because I lost the curl or the wave pattern, shall I say, from the hair. So I was a little bit bummed about it. But I mean, that's the best way to know if it's processed or not because I know now that it was processed hair. At least the 20 inch hair pieces were definitely processed. Um, but the curls completely fell out. Um, this one right here, if I can show you guys, so you can kind of see like the difference. Because when you get it, there's this huge, big, beautiful, like wavy pattern. But this, is pretty much how it came out once I co-wash it and it dried. And I let it air dry, I didn't blow dry it or anything. I just let it air dry. And this is pretty much how it came out. And this was the worst one. It still feels really soft and it's pretty, but this one's the most brown and also the most straight. The other two came out a lot more curly um, than this one did, a lot more wavy. Um, another thing, the hair is really soft. It's pretty. I think it'll be good. Like it'll be manageable because I did get the Garnier Fructis, um shampoo and conditioner, so I think the hair will be fine. I've only had it installed for a couple of days now, so I don't have a full on review of how this hair truly is. But thus far, I mean, it's 20 inches and then 18 inches on top. So I'll show you guys how long it is. Um, so it goes about here on me. That's the 20 inch into the back, pretty much to my butt. So. The hair is really long. Um, I got it off of wigtypes.com and they're actually doing a buy one, get one free. A lot of them are doing the buy one, get one free on this hair, um, but they have the lowest price. It was $106.99 with free shipping and that was for the 20 inch. So I got buy, so I got the 20 inch buy one, get one free for the $106.99. And then I got a separate 18 inch by itself instead of getting two bundles because I knew I wasn't going to need four. And I just wanted to try the hair out, so I didn't want to spend the $89.99 for the two packs of the 18. So I just spent, I think it was $50.21. Yeah, $50.21 for the one pack of the 18. So um, 
I mean, honestly, I would say you can get this hair. Um, definitely co-wash it first just to make sure it's not unprocessed. And if you want to keep the waves, don't wash it first. Um, it hasn't been tangly or anything yet. The hair right now has a little bit of a curl pattern to it, but that's just because I took the hair and I kind of like just twisted it up like this. And like I kind of sleep with it, like wrapped up like this. And so then when I take it out, it just kind of has that natural like curl pattern to it already. So um, that's pretty much it about this hair. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to do so. I know there's a couple reviews out there on this hair, but not a whole lot. So I did want to add my honest opinion about it. Um, it's not unprocessed, unfortunately, but it is beautiful hair. Um, I'll keep you guys posted and updated on how it comes out. But so far, I mean, so far, so good. Um, for what I paid for, I mean, you can't really expect to have the best of hair when you're pretty much paying like 50 bucks a pack. I don't know. So, I mean, it's really good for me. I really like it. It's long. It's gorgeous. So if you have any questions or comments, like I said, feel free to comment on them and you guys have a good day. Bye.